Hi, and welcome to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Today, I am going to try yet another set of injection pump timing. A quick review of my setup. This is a VW 1.6 liter turbo diesel. This is a VW 1.6 liter pump, and it's running a 11 millimeter TDI pump head with 136 bar injectors. Don't ask me why they're at 136, but that's where they're at. Bottom line being that my setup here is different than yours, but what remains the same is that I am testing things and you can come along for that journey. So previously I tried 0 0.0385 uh, inches of timing and on these pumps you're timing how far away the plunger is from injecting the fuel and that was way too advanced for this setup, especially because we have like the high lift cam plate, the different pump head, the weak injectors. Injected the fuel way too soon, had like no bottom end throttle response, and like felt okay at the top end, but also not that good. I bumped it way down, and we're at 0 .030 from 0 .0385 uh, injection pump timing, and it feels really good on the bottom end, meaning like low RPMs feel really good. But I've been noticing on my last few test drives with the Arduino that the top end, it kind of feels like we're not going anywhere anymore. So I wanna see if that is injection pump timing and it almost certainly is, uh, cause that is like pretty much the sole thing that determines how this engine runs, give or take. So today I wanna try kind of splitting the difference a little bit, but staying closer to the slow side. So I'm going to try 0 0.033 inches of timing instead of 0 0.030. And I think that might put me right in a money spot where I have some upper RPM kind of room where the pump has enough advance going that it feels peppy and still give me some good bottom end pull as well. Now, if you're clicked on this because you're looking for a how-to pump timing video, I have that in detail separately. Please check that out. And if you're good on how to do it, but maybe you want still a few tips and tricks, you can go watch my custom timing pump tune whatever video, which is this same idea, except today I'm gonna skip any filming really of me doing it besides some B-roll uh, to save the monotony of explaining how to time your pump for like the fourth time on this channel. There's a very good how-to I made and there's a few other videos where I do more tips and tricks. Today, we're purely checking out going from 0 0.030 to 0 0.033 pump timing, so, and then we'll take it for a test drive and see how it does. from where it was. This is second gear. driving it that hard. Okay, right now we're in third gear. 
I'm pretty sure the way my radiator is set up, it just doesn't get like any airflow. I think the timing is about as good as it could get. It is a little teeny bit slower on the bottom end than the slower timing was, but it's definitely better on the top end. And ironically, almost none of this matters because if I took this car to a real racetrack and tried to lay into it for a bunch of laps, I would definitely just overheat and crack the block like immediately. <laughs> Which isn't really a consideration I've taken much time for since I never actually get to drive the car that much. It's being projected so often. Um, I would say the timing, so timing is good and there's probably not much else to win there, honestly, by fiddling with it anymore. I feel like for the overheating issue, it's the fact that my radiator, like, is literally blocked by the intercooler and then by the front of the car and other places. And then the air doesn't even have to flow through it. Like if it doesn't want to, which is unfortunate. So, I mean, the air just definitely doesn't flow through it and that's why it gets so hot. It's definitely a big enough radiator. So I think uh, I might try to address that problem before I swap the ALH in. I might not. I think really all that's required to address it is I need to not make ducting because there's no room to add ducting, but I need to block off everything up front except where the radiator is. thing too this car could benefit from is probably just more boost which will make the overheating problem even worse because my intercooler is in front of my radiator so you know if the radiator got all the air right now maybe it would be okay but it's getting not just less air it's also getting hot air from the intercooler going through it and for now this timing worked out pretty good so I'm happy with that and Hoozle, thank you so much for watching. This was testing 0 0.034 inches of injection timing. It worked out pretty good. And I'm excited to uh, kind of tinker with a few other things, kind of get the car a little more balanced. Now that the VNT is working and the timing is good and a bunch of things that I didn't think were good are now okay. We can kind of move on to other problems like keeping it cool, trying more boost, etc. Cheers.